GFWIRadio.com is Let's Chat Live with Miss T. Okay, of course, you know, I kept telling you, I've been challenged this year to give you a motivational moment at the end of every show. So, today's motivational moment is love yourself first. You have to love yourself first. Lucille Ball, of course, we all know her, the star of I Love Lucy, said this. Love yourself first and everything else falls in line. You really have to love yourself to get anything done in this world. Have you ever met someone who has everything going on for them in life, but they don't love their self? They have no intimate connection as to who they are, what they enjoy, what their passions are, what they strive for in life. They have no attachment as to what they love. How can you possibly expect anyone to love you or anyone to care about you when you have no idea what it is that you care about in your own self? Let me be transparent for a moment. It took me a while to just get into a point where I love Tanisha, that where I could really say, yep, that's me, mm -hmm, and be proud of who she was, of who I was, to look in the mirror and say, that girl right there is absolutely gorgeous. You can never depend on any man, any woman, any affiliate, any organization, any company to take more advantage of you than you take in yourself. But you see, because people who attach themselves to you, they feed off of you. If you're not giving yourself proper love and proper nourishment, they won't give you those things too. They will begin to give you what it is they see you give yourself. See, if they see you give yourself a lot of time, if they see you give yourself the over and above treatment, they will begin to give you that same type of things because, see, they're watching you and they're watching what you do with you and that's, that's how they adjust themselves. If they notice that you begin to, you like to paint your nails and you always make sure that your nails are really foul really nicely, then they might decide to give you something manicured wise for your nails or for your hands and things of that sort because they know that's something you love to do for you. People are going to always, always, always attach themselves to what they see you do in you and what you like about you. Nothing can work if you don't love yourself. How can you learn to love someone? else if you don't love yourself. RuPaul said it best. How? How does it work? How can you love yourself and you don't, how can you love anybody else if you don't love yourself? How? It does not work. It's not possible because you are the first person who you know. You are the first person who you have attached with. You are the main person you wake up with and you are the main person that you go to sleep with. So if you don't have any attachment into yourself and who you are, you can't possibly have that much affection for anyone else. If you don't have a relationship with yourself, if you've yet to fall in love with yourself and begun to think that you're the awesome person that I know you are, I strive for you. I encourage you. I partition you to fall in love with you and you will find out that your relationships and your benefits go a whole lot further once you learn how to love you. Learn what you love. Learn what you like. Learn how you like to be touched. Learn how you like to be held. Learn what gives you like and then that way you will be able to communicate with others, be it in your relationships, be it in your organizations, be it in your friendships what it is that you like, and they will be able to adapt more to you. So that's my message for today. You got to love yourself. It's Let's Set Live with Miss T on DJ.